What's going on guys, Planet 4 here, here to bring you guys a brand new video and in today's video guys I'm going to be bringing you my undefeated Sky Striker deck profile from this past uh, Locals. Uh, it was 5 rounds and like I said I went undefeated, uh, we didn't play top cut, uh, we actually split and um, also uh, about the Sky Striker deck profile, I'm not playing Mystic Mind, um, I don't think it's needed for this deck to still be really good. Um, so let's, without further ado guys, let's get into the deck profile. So standard you play the 3 rays because obviously just this is the one card for sky strikers the one monster they play i mean it's really self-explanatory then for the hand traps i play three ash three valor three ghost ogre and three permits the reason why i play um so many hand traps is because i want to know that if i lose a die roll and i go second and i'm playing against a combo heavy deck I want to know that I still have a chance to win. This can just slow down your opponent. Um, these 12 hand traps, I think, are the best right now in the game. Um, three impermanence, you know, can't be hit by Call of the Grave. Ghost Ogre, really good against Pendulum, Thunder, Danger Thunder. Vader's is also really good. Ash, like, most versatile hand trap. Um, I just want to play hand traps just to know that, you know, like I said, my opponent's not going to be able to play the game um, if I lose the die roll. And they're just really good because you have, um, this deck is full of a whole bunch of just one card starter. So, yeah, I think hand traps are a lot really needed in this deck, and that's why I play 12. So, onto spells, we play the best spell in the deck. Uh, engage. What can I say about engage? Search your whole deck. Um, draw one, hit three spells. I mean, what could you, what more could you ask for this card? Then you play Widow Anchor. Surgible, uh, Snatch Steel, um, negates your opponent's monster's effects, I mean, this card is just amazing. Then you have three area zeros, because I like to dig deep into my deck, and I feel like three is just the correct ratio, you know, um, because now that we lost, um, one terraforming, um, because before the two, now it's a one, so, um, I feel like we gotta max out on this just to see it more, because you wanna see this card in your opening hand. And then, the one multi roll now. Um, this card is amazing. It's the reason why it's a one. Um, this card is literally spell book of judgment. So yes, yeah, that's why you play it. Then the sky striker one ups. You have eagle booster to protect. Gari adding back, engage or whatnot, or just protect your your your, your, your sky strikers. This is um just protect them by battle get three or more spells and just make them unaffected. Just really good card. Horn drones obviously is a one. You know um it's just a token generator. Really good. It's another ray. Um. Jam waves and afterburners just for um, you know for back row decks, um, just um, out monsters. You know, just monster and back row removal, which is really good. You know these two are just really good searchable um, removal, which is amazing. Shark cannon to help um, go into your link plays and also just banish um, monsters playing a sound grades. It's really good against them. And then uh, finally for the sky striker one of you have um, the biggest brick in the deck, but you have to play it because you play a uh, Kagari. Um, obviously, so this helps you just uh, shell back with Ari. Then you play uh, Rhoda, searches out Ray, Terraforming searches out Field Spell, and Upstar just dig deeper into your deck, all at one. Then you play Three Call of the Grace because you want your plays to go through, you don't want to get hand trapped. Also, this card is, is versatile, you know, it doesn't just uh, stop hand traps. If you're playing against Sound Grades, you can hit, you know, their. Um, Spinny or their one gazelle and you know this could be a blowout versus them. It's, it's a very good card, you know, just banishing cards in the graveyard and just making their effects negated. It's just such a good card. I love Call by the Grave. And then finally for the main deck, we play the Metaphors Fusion Engine. Uh, Sky Striker's been playing this since the deck first came out. I don't see a reason to stop playing it, just a very good engine. Then on to the side deck, we're playing three Panther Tops. Um, Panker Tops is really good just for like you're playing a, you know, anti meta road, you know, whatever, just really good beater you slap down, you know, it's really good against uh, salads and whatnot, it's just a good uh, card. Then you play uh, Spear Mode just for um, those combo decks, um, being, if you're playing Danger Crusader Thunder or um, you're playing uh, Pendulum or, you know, any deck that just makes a really um, solid board. That you wouldn't be able to beat otherwise, you just slap down a spear mode, you know, take away three negates. And the beauty about this is that this deck can run it because this deck doesn't need its normal summon as much. You know, you have the token generator, you have multi roll into area zero to just get um your your raid from deck. So yeah, that's why you can play spear mode. So 
Fear Mode also really good. Then you play uh, three Super Polys because just three now this card is just amazing. You know, I don't know why this card is a three to be honest. <laughs> the, just being able to, you know, fusion someone using your opponent's board and they can't do anything about it. It's just amazing. Also helps you fuel your grave with spells. Just really good. Um, then you have three Twin Twisters for your uh, back row decks. Um, just really good. And then um, this card is amazing. This card is a blowout versus Sky Striker mirror match. And it's really good against Pendulums. If you, card, if you guys don't know what this card does, you, if you control Water Monster, which you have Suzuku, which is fine, you know, you can just banish a spell in graveyard for the rest of the turn, negate all spell effects you're in your opponent's field. So it's uh, basically a one uh, turn Imperial Order, you know, one sided Imperial Order. So this card is just fantastic. I mean, I, I think you have to side, every Sky Striker deck should be sided. This card is just amazing. Alright, moving on to the extra deck. Um, we're playing, of course, the one Gagari. Fortunes at one, but you know, we have to do what we have. The two Kanos, because Kanos good to win in time. Also, just to stop your opponent's attack, which is uh, you know a very um, you know underrated effect. It's really good. Then you play three Shizuku, which is the best guy striker link beside Gagari, obviously. And face searcher, making your opponent's monster lose attack for every spell and grade. Just amazing card. Then you have um, three Hayate. I've been noticing some people have been playing uh, two, but I like uh, three Hayate just because you know in the grand games it does come up and you know you do have extra deck space. So I, I think um, three Hayate is really good. Um, then we have the non Sky Striker links. We have Borload. Um, I don't have Boral Sword, so I play Borload. But if you have Boral Sword, you know you can play that, or you can just play Borload. Both of them are great. Um, you can you play um, Hita. Just to, if you're playing a sound great to take their fire monster, you know, uh, going uh, into link plays, you or in the Sky Striker mirror match, you take a Kagari, you know, that's really good. Uh, Ningirsu for adding uh, problematic monsters, non targeting send, this is just amazing. Phoenix, uh, Phoenix is amazing, um, best generic uh, link, uh, link two in the game, in my opinion. Um, just out uh, flood gauge, you know, back row is really good. And then uh, finally, we have Super Poly targets. Which start Venom and Dragos to Pelio. So yeah, these are uh, really good. Um, you could um, put um, oh, man, I'm forgetting the name. Salmon Great. Um, you know the Salmon Great Fusion. I'm forgetting the name right now. Apologies, but um, yeah, you can put the Salmon Great uh, Fusion in here. But I I didn't choose to put in here because I think since the deck got hit, um, there aren't as many Salmon Great players. So I think these two are just better. But you could you know replace maybe this I guess with um. You know uh, the the sound great fusion, but this is all good against pendulums. This is good against uh, you know, thunder dragons. So yeah, um, so yeah, guys, that's it for my deck profile. Um, my matchups, um, for the tournament were uh, sound great, uh, danger thunder. Um, let me see. It was first sound great, danger thunder. I played. It was very versatile. I played Sky Strikers, I played Heroes, and I played, um, I don't remember the last one, but I, I know I played a bunch of different matchups. I, I just think this deck is so good, still. Um, don't sleep on this deck, because this deck will just, you know, this deck can just, like, out-resource you uh, so fast and just blow you out. It's, you know, it's ridiculous. This deck, even after being, being hit three times, I believe, it's just so, so good. Um, you could play Mystic Mind, but like I said, I don't, I don't play Mystic Mind. Um, I don't think the, in, the deck needs it. I think the deck is still really good without it. And, yeah, guys, that's it for my deck profile. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments, suggestions, you know, leave down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. And I'll see you guys later. Later, guys.